In this video, we're going through one more example where we have to use L'Hopital rule and it's not very straightforward because that's what kind of examples I like to show in my videos. Let's see why this one is not so straightforward. What is happening with 1 plus 8 over x as x approaches infinity? Well, 8 over x goes to 0, so 1 plus 0 is 1. I'll write down here 1. What is happening with x over 10 when x approaches infinity? That's infinity over 10 or just infinity. So this is 1 raised to the infinity case. We know how to deal with cases like this. We don't like them, but we know that log will save us. So let's use log. Use log for 1 to the infinity cases. Let's do it. First I'll write down nicely what is the function we're working with. 1 plus 8 over x all over, not all over, raised to the x to the 10. I will apply log to the both sides. Natural log of y equals natural log of 1 plus 8 over x raised to the x over 10. x over 10 now can be multiplied by log using laws of logs. Then we are going to have ln of y equals x over 10 ln 1 plus 8 over x. Now we're going to work with the function on the right hand side when we're looking for limits. So we are going to find a limit of x over 10 natural log 1 plus 8 over x. Well, it looks a little bit better. x approaches infinity. Now we have, we have product and we know how to work with products. If we have 0 times infinity, we can fix it and be, it becomes 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. And then we use L'Hopital rule. Let's see if this is the case. x over 10 goes to infinity. 8 over x goes to 0. 1 plus 0 goes to 1. So log of 1 goes where? To 0. This is zero infinity times 0 case. What do we do when we have infinity times zero case? We need to flip one of the functions. Put them, put one of those two functions in a denominator. You choose, but I don't like when log goes to the denominator because then you will have several chains in, in to, to work with. So let's keep log at the top. I'll have natural log 1 plus 8 over x. All over, you can do x over 10, but you know what? I just realized that this x over 10 is a silly part. Why do we have to have 1 over 10 everywhere? Let's have x and then 1 over 10 outside. Do you all agree? Then I will just multiply the result by 1 over 10. I think it makes life easier. Then in the denominator, we're going to have a function 1 over x. Let's check it. Now we can apply L'Hopital rule. Always check before you do that. So the top already remember that log of 1 is 0. So the top goes to 0. The bottom now is 1 over x. x approaches infinity. 1 over infinity approaches 0. We can use L'Hopital rule. L'Hopital rule tells me that now I can differentiate the top and the bottom and work with rates instead of the original functions. And you just hope that the rates are easier than the original function. Derivative of log of u is 1 over u. And my u in this case is everything here inside. So we'll have 1 over 1 plus 8 over x. Let me zoom in. Now chain rule, don't forget, times the derivative of the function inside. What is the derivative of 1 plus 8 over x? It will be 0 minus 8 over x squared. 
do it slowly right now if you want to check if this is the case. The denominator becomes minus 1 over x squared. Such a mess. Let's try to fix it. How to fix this mess? Let's collect everything where it's supposed to belong. Everything which is supposed to be in the numerator should go there and what I was in the denominator should go there. So this piece right now is in the denominator. Well then let's put it in the denominator. This piece over here is in the denominator as well. So I will put it here. Negative 8 can stay outside. Now what should we do with negative 1 over x squared? Since this is a fraction located in the denominator, I should multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by the negative x squared. Does it make sense? Then what is the answer? Well, negative x squared and x squared cancels out. Well, negative with this negative becomes positive. Let me not confuse you. I will keep the negative for you here, but I definitely know that x squared will cancel out. Then the limit becomes 1 over 10 limit x approaches infinity negative positive 8 at the top and then 1 plus 8 over x at the bottom. This is good. How do I know? Because I remember that we have we are working with x going to infinity. Then 8 over x goes to 0 and the answer is just 8. Is it 8? No. Don't forget 1 over 10 in front. It's actually 8 over 10 or 4 over 5. This is the final answer, isn't it? Well, my questionable intonation should indicate that I'm asking you, are we done or not? And you're supposed to say no. There should be some one more step we forgot. We did not forget this step. I was just waiting for you to tell me to do it. As you remember, we're working with log of the function. So the answer we got is actually for the log of the function. ln y equals 4 over 5. Well, how to then solve for y? Using, using exponential function e raised to the 4 fifths. Every time you, you work with limits and you have to use logarithm and then L'Hopital's rule or any other techniques, don't forget that we have to use exponential function at the end and the answer will be e to the answer you've got from the limit. And that's the problem we had here. Don't freak out when you see cases 1 to the infinity and or stuff like that. You can do it.